done it! You're watching the Global Poker League. This is Thursday night. We are into our last match tonight in Heads Up America's action. And it's going to be a good one. It's going to be really great. <laughs> Olivier Busquet, the, uh, the crusher of the GPL, the Heads Up crusher um, against Chris Moneymaker, the, uh, well, the manager of the doomed Las Vegas Moneymakers. They will not be going to Las Vegas for the playoffs. Only pride to play for for them but everyone but. wants to play for pride in poker i tell you he is not gonna want to lose this no especially well, because olivier is known as one of the best in the world yeah i mean listen nothing has gone right for the money makers on the gpl um, everything has gone right for the la sunset everything for the most part, has gone wrong for Olivier Busquet. Chris Moneymaker will be desperate to bring him down a peg or two. Um, you know, the LA Sunset already locked up their place in the playoffs. Um, Olivier Busquet has constantly been up there as one of the highest scorers. Um, he's played eight times heads up. He's won six of them. Um, so, yeah, things have gone in, in completely different directions for these two franchises. And Chris Moneymaker, frankly, will want to, you know, bring him back down to earth because, uh, <laughs> you know, who, you can't, you can't let him get away with it. You can't, you just can't. So, uh, yeah, Chris Moneymaker will be itching to, to get out there and show that these moneymakers are not, uh, you know, here to they be trampled all over. <laughs> well, they've, yeah, they've been trampled on. Um, you know, the other teams in this league have been a sort of herd of rampaging wildebeests kind of stomping and <laughs> stamping like, uh, like, uh, I mean, like that scene in the, uh, like the Lion King, like, like Simba's dad in the uh, Lion King. Uh, anyway, they need to, uh, they need to get up and uh, dust themselves off. Do you know what? I had uh, a dream that a friendly lion was talking to me last night. Really? We'll go into that later anyway. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Just uh, reminded me. The, uh, if the players aren't, aren't talkative, you can tell us all about your uh, lion you, I had a crazy dream, dream last night. <laughs> Can't wait. Let's take a look <laughs> at, at the, the standings. Yeah, standings <laughs> in the Eurasia. Almost done and dusted when it comes to sorting out what's going on. We have the three already qualified teams, Montreal Nationals, LA Suns and Sao Paulo Metropolitans. Sao Paulo got their foot in the door, in the, in the cube door um, in their last game. Uh, Jao Simao uh, defeating uh, the previously unbeaten Jason Lavallee. All, all to uh, discover in this league is the, uh, the final playoff place, whether it be San Francisco Rush or the New York Rangers. There we see the Las Vegas Moneymakers. It's been a wretched season, 30 points adrift of, of fifth place. And they're, uh, well, I mean, uh, 68 points uh, they can the, uh, take it up to Montreal 131, Nationals. maybe. Yeah, I mean, small crumbs of comfort. But yeah, no, it's definitely definitely worth noting that, that Chris Moneymaker is is a man who, who's been a part of the poker world, part of the fabric of the poker world uh, for many, many years. He and he's created a hugely, the yeah, boom. He, he created the boom. He's the reason that we are here in this commentary booth. And he want to uh, end this season with a flourish for the uh, Las Vegas Moneymakers. This is his debut in Heads Up. He's uh, only played three times. He's been uh, taking a more of a managerial <laughs> backward step, but like, um, you know, uh, more of a sort of Philip Gruesome and Andre Akari style managerial role, uh, 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 opting to play infrequently or never. Um, but well, Philip Chris Gruesome didn't opt himself as a player. No, nor did, nor did Andre Akari. No. But, 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 no, but Chris opted to play, but then and opted but he did, not but to he play, just didn't play. Uh, in the uh, <laughs> when the uh, you know when the team selection was uh, <laughs> yeah. was uh, you know needed to be done. But having said that, he's um, you know he's throwing himself into the cauldron that is Olivier Bousquet heads up, um, and he is you know he's not hiding from you know the the well fairly miserable um, situation that they find themselves in. Uh, he's not hiding from Olivier Bousquet, <laughs> and he's going to be uh, going all out to. I uh, would be take Bousquet if I down. was in his shoes. What would you do if you were Chris Moneymaker playing Olivier Busquet? 
hide? Or I mean, what, what would your strategy be? Just go all in every hand. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> high variance, I suppose, would be the uh, would be the kind of strategy that I would if I was playing Olivier Busquet, uh, aware that he was one of the uh, best heads up players in the world, I'd be looking to. Uh, you know, get the money in and hope for the best. So uh, as Olivia Busquet is a, is a crusher, uh, former GPI number five, 7.1 million in earnings, um, 58, 85 results, three wins, couple of, also some really good, excellent deep runs. Um, remember in final tabling the uh, the monster state one year, when I was, uh, seven and a half thousand runners. So uh, I thought you were going to uh, say when, when I was seven. Oh, no, no. When I was I seven, uh, it was unlikely that then. Olivier Busquet was born. <laughs> uh, here we go. Moneymaker v. Busquet. Let's do oh, it. Oh, look at this moody lighting we've got in the Busquet household. Mm. An interesting lamp. What's up, guys? Hey, Hello. hey, Olivier. How you doing? Should be a good game. Good game, good game. You try to feel them out, feel them out early, and then uh, kind of go from there. Yeah. Two hands in a row, we folded. It's a good sign. Can't hear you, Chris. Message to production: Invoke moneymaker microphone. Olivier. As I said at the top of the show, played eight, won six heads up matches. All his matches have finished 2 1. Uh, never been involved in a sweep. He's beaten Darren Elias 2 1. He's beaten Jonathan Duhamel 2 1. He's beaten Tom Marchese 2 1. He's beaten Marc Andre Ladisor 2 1. He's beaten Tom Marchese again 2 1. He's beaten Wayne Zhang 2 1. He's know, just a general. He's a 2 beast, 1, a 2 1 at Crusher. Do you know the two players who've beaten at Busquet? Let me see if I can, get, can remember. Go on. Oh, well, it happened just l recently. Happened just like two weeks ago. Yeah, week nine. Well, no, four weeks ago. Three bidding a bit of trash. It's it was someone early. quite unsuspecting. To play. <sighs> Let's go, boss. It was Mark andre Ladusser. Correct. Yes! Who was the other one? Oh, man. Ha what week? Week seven. Was that one quite unsuspecting? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't be who I would uh, predict to uh, take Jason down. Jason Lovelace. No, now that was someone I would predict to take down, Busquet. Okay, don't tell me. Was it? <laughs> was it a Brazilian? Yes. Was it Joao Bar? No. <laughs> Chris has ditched the headphones. Technology rage. I know how you feel, Chris. Tiago Nishima. No. Oh, man. <sighs> Who's the other Brazilian? <laughs> <sighs> well, we've got the two players we mixed up earlier. I think Chris is trying to figure out his uh, audio. Is it Byron? No, it's Byron. That's interesting. Byron. No. I wonder if that was on purpose. Who's <sighs> the hmm. other one? Snapchat. Sorry, guys. Trying to get all the... Uh, Here we go. So we're good. Hey, Chris. It wasn't Joao Samal. No. I can't think of... Was it Darren Elias? Oh, yeah, no. So, are there um, any other Brazilians? There are. There's one history more. With Who is it? Olivia. He used to play him a ton back in the day. Oh, my um, God. I can't think of any other Brazilians. I can give you his three initials no. if you're ready. He's got oh, three, three names. Okay, three. You guys. Um, three, but this is actually what it's called oh. right now. Um, wow. Pretty know. early in the match. I don't want to interrupt, Chris. No. Felipe Mojave Ramos. Vamos Ramos. How could I forget Vamos Ramos? How could Ramos. you forget? Shoddy, shoddy work, Cornelius. I love Felipe Ramos too. He's oh, such he's a, a cool dude. Sweetheart, isn't he? Sorry, Felipe. I don't think he's watching. He doesn't. It's not oh, Pop going over to Olivier there. All right. Now, hopefully, we're situating all the headphones. All that mess figured out. Those we headphones. Spotted him a smooth 6,000. Those headphones went flying. Potential danger here for uh, Chris. Run into the ace jack of Busquet on this ace 5 7 flop. And, uh, Too quick. Jack of clubs. Olivier, kind of trying to take Chris on down to value town. Seven just 
I mean, there's so many different things that got there. Um, I love your voice. Bad car in the river, bad car all the way around. Talk to us. He's already uh, dropping down his race sizing. Hello? Yes, noises, kids. Hmm. Kids. Bring the well, kids on. Three six hundred level. A little small through back. Ten to Busque gets the walk. <laughs> Christian, he doesn't want to. Uh, <sighs> I was going to play junk on the button, even if they are suited, which um, is a. Slight variation on what most players will play. Most players will play right, man, suited he's cards. Up 100 percent of his range. Okay. Only Jack's gonna play well. Two in a row. I'm guessing at least one of them is a good end. You guess. No, I don't really know what he thinks about my game. Which would be less likely to be light time. after a two in a row like that. I my my guess is he he'll underestimate it if if anything. Um. He obviously has a lot more experience than I do, um, but at the end of the day, um, I feel like heads up's one of my stronger games. But I'm playing against the best in the world here. Sizing, I think. Yeah, picking up the couple of early pots here. It's hand 15. And, uh, Olivier continues to flop better, and uh, Chris will certainly uh, have his work cut out for uh, continues to flop for the second best hand. I'm not really flopping a whole heck of a lot. It's 300, 600, so I'm not really overly really concerned about it. He doesn't have a queen here. He's going to fold. Um, just not a good spot for him to check back He's a lot of his range. I'm a huge fan of. I like getting hands in, getting into like a rhythm. Shout out all the fans in the Twitch chat. Into trance. I don't know about the 6 3 there. He seems to be playing pretty tight, so. Pedro SSM. Reasonable fold. B82A. Premium hand for uh, Chris here. Oh. Oh, kids are He's got the rowdy. kids. No. 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 May just start 3 betting them a little bit more. He's you know, obviously. Uh, Opening 100% and defending was pre -flop much where smaller. You, by playing more hands, should be making um, should be making chips. Um, you're just going to um, win more blinds, um, get more folds, that kind of thing. So on the flip side, once you get to see a flop, uh, in general, I think I should bet here. Um, you know, his hand's going to be stronger than yours. <laughs> uh, so you have to kind of be a little bit more careful um, and think about which boards his range is going to hit relative to yours. All right, Barnes just shot up again. Um, top, top pair. We're going to be good here almost. All the time. Hmm. He'll wake up with a three periodically. Nothing to be concerned about too much. Olivier, aware of the fact that Chris will... Every time I get on this cam, it makes me want to think I have to go lose weight. <laughs> it's just the angle camera, The camera adds 10 pounds, Chris. It's just the camera It's the, it's the angle. angle. Get it up above your head. Yeah, get it coming it down on you. And, and suck your cheeks and you'll be fine. You're like Matthew McConaughey. We'll get you some makeup. Well. I'm going to continue here. Oh, 
little uh, river value from uh, Olivier. So yeah, Olivier correctly asserting that, that Chris is um, likely to be playing uh, slightly tighter ranges than uh, a lot of the opponents that he will have faced. And uh, sort of giving us a pretty nice overview of uh, the adjustments he'll make. Yeah. Obviously still relatively early. Not a whole lot going on in the map. Interesting flop here. There's uh, I'm actually going to go on this board. I just don't think that board texture is a board texture that he's as likely to just like auto see that. Um, so I just think his range is a little bit stronger when he see that, so I just have to be a little bit tighter playing my range. Yeah, that's number of three bets. I'll be getting sick of the same. Um, nice instincts from both players sick here. Sick of it? Yeah, I mean, he usually could just have what? it and just like jam, but it's just three betting a lot, a little too much. I think, man, without seeing his hands. So, just gotta kind of correct him into proper play. More reasonable play, I should say, not proper. Got a shot here for Olivier. <laughs> I like to. Uh... I don't know, without a diamond. Yeah, like... We could have checked back here, but um, it just doesn't hit his range either, so. We'll stab periodically. This is a hand that Chris should really be a look. Um, definitely looking to three bet and uh, try and. Uh, It'll be interesting if he uh, four bets really again. Decent flop for Chris, just the one over card. Um, pretty comfortable flop yeah. for us, considering all all the variables. Um, if he has a jack, obviously sucks, but. Olivier doesn't improve on the turn. And, uh, we'll go check call. His pot's already swelled to... Uh, I don't know how many fours he has in his ring. Over 20,000. Uh, that is an interesting card. Olivier. The correct course of action here. Yeah. He did have a few threes and fours in his ring. <laughs> that is well, really, done really, done really done unfortunate. He has two sixes. Uh, okay. Up and down here <laughs> for uh, Chris. Wow. Okay, now I'm moving. That's a big hand. Chris has taken the lead in this, uh, this heads up match. Not much uh, between these two guys. Go on, the money maker. Make some points. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, these guys, they want to close that gap. I mean, that, that, that gap's an ugly, ugly sight, looking at that, that points gap. But, yeah, no, definitely, um, definitely a fan of kids. Definitely a fan of kids. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. No, definitely a fan of uh, Chris's strategy to, um, you know, go with like a high, so that, high um, three bang time. frequency. Oh, didn't. I'm surprised he didn't to, uh, crank up the variance. Hey, these guys are playing quick. Yeah, certainly, yeah, uh, certainly no excessive, certainly no Will Kasufin gun on this here. table. Um, <laughs> I saw your uh, tweets. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah, but I've been uh, getting right those. stuck in yeah, with you. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I only tweet about poker about once every <laughs> six months. And then you really um, go. Yeah, for then it. I let rip. <laughs> It's actually it's actually a subject that's close to my heart because uh, the only time I really like lose my rag big style is uh, when uh, people um, slow play. Mm. In... You wouldn't want to play with Byron Calverman then. Oh no. <laughs> and also that the, the controversy that that has happened inc that includes all the players ganging up on Will. And like they're getting a lot of Chris. I don't know if you've seen the footage, probably not, but there's uh, I'm gonna check back top. I saw some time. of it when it's not a good turn card for us, not because he has any of it, um, really just because it wow, that's just a horrid run out. Uh, <clears throat> One day I think you're gonna fall off your chair. 
And I, it, it does seem, I, I do, for some reason, I just find it nice to like rock a little on my chair. And keep like yeah, sp spinning around to the left, or to the right, sorry. Anyway, the guys who are kind of just opening up ah. every button, so. I'm going to shut up. We're going to make him for us or call. Off the middle pair is going to be good here a lot. Don't like seeing the deuce on the board. He doesn't have a ton of deuces. I think we just the deuce counterfeits my queen. I think he has a lot of eights. Come on, Chris, make that call. Hmm. Well, this is a huge pot developing. It'll be interesting to see if he fires this all in. We're gonna see. Olivier <laughs> going for the big bet, putting Chris in a rough, oh, rough spot. Tough spot. I mean, he's either got a deuce, a king, or air. It doesn't be too much. I mean, I don't know what he has. Uh, I think we can find a better spot. Oh, no, Chris lets it go. Now. Olivier oh, gets Chris. that one through. I'm kind of curious to see that one. You'll find out in 10 minutes, Chris. Shapes up. It's got a little heat under the collar. Really I know nice. you call with a lot of kings. Chris, you got done, mate. You got stitched up. A really nice bluff by Olivier, showing why he's, why he's one of the best in the world. Understanding Chris's range to perfection. So blinds up to six and twelve here. So Chris, what's that? Doesn't need to panic. <laughs> All right, I'm in the middle of something. Um, I'll have to look at one more. Okay. Oh, what, 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 Chris? What do you have to look at? What do you, what you got to look at? What she made or he? I want to know. Wife is having cooking issues. Cooking problems. Oh. Ah, what's she cooking? <laughs> Can't imagine Chris would be the best. Much of this um, he's, no, he's left his kids to do the cooking. <laughs> that kitchen's gonna be a state. Go make a nice chicken casserole. <laughs> I'm just playing GPL. I want me a chocolate cake when I'm done here, honey. Is he pausing to talk to you guys? What's he saying? He's, he's in, talking about cooking. He's telling his kids to get the dinner on the table. <laughs> yes. Ooh, disconnected. That's not good. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> there was a fire in the kitchen in the moneymaker household. It burnt through the... Uh... Yeah, maybe that'll help. Come back, Chris. Yeah, get back, Chris. Olivier wants to play the Queen 9. Oh, my God. There's a, there's a fire in the kitchen. It's burnt through the, uh, the internet cables. Chris has been disconnected. The, uh... What's going on here? The chicken's getting burnt. Um, you got eight deuce, Chris. That's what's going on. Let it go, buddy. Refresh. Let it go, buddy. It's all going off. Oh, no. The headphones are back. There we go. He's found the fold. Is he back? He's back. Olivier electing to. Uh... Uh, is he back? I don't, I'm not trying to blind him out. Okay, yeah. Okay, nice, nice, uh, nice sportsmanship by there, yeah, by Olivier. Just, just limping. Just check it down, buddy. If you win, you're gonna win. Oh, you're back now. <laughs> you bet. So he must be back. Let me sit down. Okay. 
Yeah, nice sportsmanship. We are trying to sportify poker on the GPL. Olivier Busquet embodying sportsmanship with that with that limp Sorry, on the button that. with ace do suited. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Chris with the, uh, the old less than 1% hand. Yeah, no, if you check, it's less interesting. Is Chris going to... He doesn't have a ton of eights in his range, I don't believe. I have more. Smallish bet. I feel like I have the best hand. Obviously, I'm calling. I don't think raising is good. Ugh. No, he's going to check back. No, what is he doing? Maybe he has an eight. He just bet a little smaller. I'm going to polarize bet this. Um, Go on, Chris. I'll check back an eight. Wow. Oh. Wow. That's Think such a big bet, Chris. Go on. Go on, the money maker. Man, you just bet I don't so expect much. him to hook me up too often with a nine. This feels like a fold to me, you know? I'd probably fold here. Are you just like running some weird check bluff bluff? Oh, he buddy. gets it through. Nice one, Chris. I don't think Olivier is watching back the, um, the replay, so... 8 and 16. You may have, to, uh, may have nightmares about that one. <laughs> Talking of nightmares. Still waiting to tell that story about the line. will do oh, it. Yeah. It wasn't a nightmare. It was a friendly line. Oh, ah, okay. It was a really nice dream. <laughs> Yeah, like so it wasn't a roaring, no flesh I, guzzling. There had been a lot going on before in this dream, like it was like this about the seventh dream, basically. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, one of those. I'd been at the water park, I had been, um, pretty good turn going for us. <laughs> living actually with a poker couple. Oh, was it, was it Liv I and Eagle? I don't want to say who it is, no, is it not J as famous. Jason and Natasha, not as famous as them. An English poker couple. Is it, is it, uh, I'm not going to say who oh, it is. Okay. It's too embarrassing to say that I've had a All weird right. dream was about it. Was it Simon Deadman and Shola? <laughs> no, right. it wasn't them. I'll tell oh, you that's later. The, that's the only one I know. I'll tell you later when I'm parties. off there. But I was living in the house with them, and she was going to have a baby. And I was helping prepare her to have her baby Noble. by helping her out with things. Cleaning the house. I don't know why I was staying with them. I think he has flush draws a lot. He has a jack sometimes. Chop it up. Wow, that's sometimes. so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, fucking weird play that is. Olivier loves the game of poker. It's that's amazing. that's for sure. It's the same hand as me. It's very rare he's going to top, check back top pair. Tough I spot could here call Chris. down Mike, but it just doesn't really make a ton of sense. Well, when some bluffs beat me. We're not in any desperation mode here. So anyway, living with that poker couple was the oh, yeah. start of the dream. And then by the end... I think, so I've been chatting quite a lot about doing a safari trip to South Africa in yeah. January for my holiday. He's at like 20 blinds here. So I think that's why I was dreaming about lions. Oh, so was the, does, does the lion come in in a different dream? Yeah, later on. Oh, okay. So you don't go on safari with this couple? No, but I'm no. on safari with another weird family that I don't really know who they are. Yeah. And I remember having a coat hanger as a bracelet, which I found very, very bizarre. <laughs> anyway, these two lions are lying there, and I'm cuddling them. Because they're lying there. <laughs> and I'm lying on the lion. Like, He's trapping with big hands here quite a bit. In the lion's tummy, mm. with my arm around I the lion. I think he's checking back a big hand, though. Yeah, We're chopping a lot. He's got 910. Unpredictable. And I noticed the lion you got it. hasn't got a mane. So I'm guessing, oh, it's a female lion. It's a dead lion. It's been shot by an American <laughs> dentist. Four deuce. <laughs> it's not going to be a hand. But it wasn't. Oh. It was a male lion. It's tranquilized. And it had, had its mane shaved off. And I remember asking it, do you mind not this having a mane? It's too unrealistic. <laughs> I swear to God, this is what happened. I asked if he minded not having a mane. What was his response? I don't remember him having a response. But then, 
I suddenly thought, I'm lying on a lion. It could attack me. 16 bins, 7, 16 and a half. But then a split second later, I was like, no. Yeah. The lion That's looked good. at me in the eye, and I knew it was my friend. Oh, my God. And the love was all around for me and my friend, the lion. And I woke up all happy and smiley. Yeah, you're lucky you woke up because he was going to eat you. He wasn't <laughs> your friend. He wasn't. He was my friend. If anyone can tell me what on earth that dream means, please do let me know. <laughs> Top pair for Chris Moneymaker here. And uh, Olivier is firing chips into this pot. The good thing is he's not going to be putting this on a queen. Chris. So if he does have queen, like jet, queen uh, turn, he would get paid pretty big there. Olivier getting a little frustrated. He's uh, not, not Probably uh, all the chips. shutting this one out. Lots of love. Pedro SSM, big GPL fan. Anyone else had some crazy dreams out there? Poker dreams, oh, maybe? Oh, no. Forget the Twitch chat. Ever dreamt you won the WSCP main event? I've had a few poker dreams. Have you? I, I don't, I'm not really... I have got the great like power of recollection. Unless oh, I like man. Them. Okay. Well, at least I can call that. Uh-oh. It's a good pop. Chris doesn't want to uh, be firing. He's got me. I mean, more power to him. You know what I mean? Not exactly the best flop. He's got a queen. I don't think he's ever laying it down. Um, Check. Definitely Back. not laying down an ace. Don't know if he has flush draws. Not, not likely. <clears throat> most, li most likely scenario, he's got a weak ace. Or he's got a hand like I had, king queen. Wow, snap full. Oh, that's so brutal. <laughs> Stab. And probably could have fired two shells at that. Or just give up. I think giving up was the better solution for the... So he's uh, a 15 and a half big ones. He's doing some min raising. I wonder if he's doing too much of that. I think we can call this. No. Great flop for Olivier. It's going to be all she wrote. Now, is it better to really raise hard here to, to have just call here? and then call? I think calling is better. Oh, and uh, Chris. I think we're going to have the best hand here in now. Uh, let's see if he'll bet the turn. We'll get it in on the turn. Yeah, okay, I'll take it, I guess. Uh, we have the best hand. Um, if I shove, will he call with any five, I wonder? I'm not sure, actually. Just shove and hope he calls with the five. I don't really know. I I, maybe I played this hand stupidly. I should have just gone all in on the slot. I don't, now I'm like... So lost here. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it might interesting be hand. That might have been stupid. I don't think he's making any hero calls in that spot too often, though. Well, this hand, okay. That hand I knew how to play. It's under twenty big blinds to Chris. No call there. That's Great terrible. flop here. I gotta bet one of these, so this is gonna be the one. Moneymaker's not going down without a fight. Chris going mm. toe to toe. Such a bad flop, though. Pretty much no. I'm gonna play my hand pretty stuff at this point when I already this here. But back to can't really even stacks after a back come to out. 58 he, hands in this I'm game. I when he raises there, he's gonna continue on the <clears throat> flop. He wasn't continuing on the plot before because the blinds were so low. But the blinds are where they are. He's going to continue on most of these plots. It's another not the best board. I'm going to change it up and call here one time. Interesting flop. Chris if I ever get him down shorter, I'll be doing this a lot more. Second pair for a little Terrible turn card for us. Uh-oh. Terrible river card for yep. us. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. 
There's no value in calling with a king. It's a straight bluff catcher. It just doesn't have a whole done. It's not going to do very well. Great lay down there, Chris. Off, that's all right. The board just ran out so ugly. <sighs> ugly, ugly, ugly. Seen some nice lay downs in this game. Probably why it's uh, reached hand 62. This could be, okay. could be a big Seems pot here. Low. There we go. All in a call, I would imagine. And Chris, uh, going to get in with the best hand. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of chop opportunities wrong. arising as a result of this flop. It looks like a chop coming. Okay. Yeah, chop well, these up. players will need to pair Looks up. I can somehow squeeze out on eight. Chop it up. Okay, down to five. Chop it up. Choppity chop. Well, I guess 79 hands. I'm going to be totally wrong because we're already up to 63. What did you guess? 79 for that. all three games. Oh, wow. Well, 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 yeah, these two are grinding this one out. Let me get blue up. Jimmy Bluff right, says well, Safari is fun. I'm going to this thing up and yeah, once again, my oven just blew up at the house. Sure. We're in a little house mean, right now. Shoot animals, That's beautiful. So. We don't agree with uh, that. I didn't blew up. Not shoot lady animals. I'm She's friends trying with to make dinner for us. I'm Dr. Doolittle, the female version. I'm going to raise it. I'm going to shove anything. Just like an again. All in call. Cool. Wow, again, huh? <laughs> good again. And this time oh, he will uh, seal the deal, barring a uh, some straight op uh, opportunities. Well, it's not one of them. All right, we still have some life. Twenty-eight thousand. Chris, moneymaker, in command in this first heads-up match, looking to salvage some points, some pride, and some uh, spirit for the uh, Las Vegas moneymakers. Go on, the moneymakers. Just over 10 Six big blinds for uh, Busquet. 12 big blinds now, a bit more. Can uh, certainly fancy his chances to uh, clamber back into this match. Moneymaker out flopped here. I guaranteed he doesn't have an ace. He would ship any ace here. Um, so I feel like I could pretty freely um, bet. And then uh, continue betting. Uh oh, this is uh, not a good card for Chris. <laughs> Chris may the situation think... change the touch because I don't know if he's going to lay down a jack. Um, and he may a three, so we'll just check. Get... Oh, Ooh, we got real lucky. Betting the turn with that hand is like. Oh, we got lucky, didn't we? <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Olivier. He definitely wasn't laying down the jack. What? Not, not jack nine. He could have laid down. If I shoved the river and the nine doesn't come, the nine was obviously a good card for both of us. But if the nine didn't come, I think I shoved the river. I don't think he calls. He might. I think it would be a, a really awkward spot for him. Olivier, almost back to uh, right. parity here. Coming close to even again. The lines are so big, man. Oh, yeah, we all do. Especially after the, the night that you bust a tournament. Chris. I think it's with, better just to shove. Goods. I think it works. It's not good. Hand 70. Wasn't expecting this. I telegraph my hand if I... Uh, They're playing fast, but they are. I have long. a flat call there sometimes. And I have a shove. Let's face it, those quick ones like game one are never. Well, we're not going like <laughs> no. this time. Of a. Are you getting that? Yeah. Okay. 
We may have turned the best hand here. I'm pretty sure we did. This match is. Uh, I'm gonna bet for value. Way beyond the, uh, the typical. Hand I think number. he might look us up with like an ace jazz. The board is just I don't know. The hands that he's likely to be calling a min raise in the stack depth in the position is just like really hits a bunch of that stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Might have been better just to shove that. It's kind of a the hand's not defended. I mean, these kings pretty it's just not defended too well. On flops, it's going to miss a lot. Olivier, with a gut shot. Chris going to make the call. Uh, Olivier is going to continue to barrel here. He's turned a two pair up and down. We'll fold out anything better, but no uh, worries. That's no good. At the same time, I mean, don't want to just check check all the way down. Cool. Give it to him. Crumbs now for Olivier. Seven big blinds. We'll be calling the show here. Can't Five find the hand. Nope. Now it's just about picking up hands. It's really just King eight doesn't do it. To. Nope. Okay. Whoever picks up the best hand until we get back to about even, <clears throat> or I bust him one. This will be good enough for Olivier. Get a min raise. Slightly unconventional. I like his min raise there. It's a good, good strategy. I do like that a lot. Golly. <clears throat> I wonder if he's playing a little tight or if he's just really getting dealt trash. Well, we got a race here. Race hand. I mean, there's no point in messing around too much with this spot. Hmm. Blinds are to a point now. It's time to get her down or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty <clears throat> easy from this point. You know, shut full call ranges, then. He'll bet here. He knows that there's no way I have any of this. I would have raised with a free flop if I had any of the King Jack 10 type hands. Only hand, I guess, I could have a King 4 type hand. But even King 4, I'm probably shipping in pre. <laughs> that's the power of limping heads up is he can have big hands I can't in that spot this hand is actually probably not we just got the best can rust in stack in depth because even on a board like this where I crush he's Same just going like to have he anything really he knows that. I'm not really going to be dominating that many hands because he'll just go all in with them pretty maybe like jack 10 suit would be better to, do to do that with Bad flop for me when I'm trying to do what I do because he has nines and fours. Up and down. Really, really strange check back. I mean, I have so much equity now that I have to bet. And he does fold, so that's nice. Something or the flop just came high, but was not to be. Olivier, he, min he, raising so the jack. We'll get it all in here. He's nine versus yeah, whatever he has. Can't. Wow. I'm always getting these bad hands to min raise with and none of my good hands. So that's making it tough. Fold here. Okay. Huh. Mm, Not getting the one. best flops to continue on, that's for damn sure. Wow. Two pair for Olivia. That's just the mean. 
and just smack some holy in this range. Lots of junky hands being uh, distributed boost, between these two guys. Get to see it. This time. Um, this is interesting. He's got about 100% here because he has, he can represent an ace and I can't. Olivier turning the um, best hand. I think this is just strong enough really to bet. Chris getting sticky. Now I hit a straight. I don't think I needed it, but. Like he could have missed diamonds. He could have an ace. I think we've called off so much. I'm just going to call. I think, it, you know, he's he's got missed diamonds. Um, I don't think he has a five mm -hmm. anymore. I guess he's got he an ace or he's got maybe a, deuce. a lot of air a lot of times, so. Chris going to call the deuce, and uh, just like that, this match is uh, turned on its head. <clears throat> Hand 91. Oh, that's that's incredible. Incredible. Weren't expecting this. Oh, well. It's crazy at these stacks that you can still like end up playing, getting to rivers. Definitely ever played the old eight deuce. 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 I think this is a fold. I think this is a fold. I don't. Even, I don't know what to do. There's a weird spot against this guy. He's got a three there, a lot of a four. Obviously, complete error. I mean, he's only got like 11. All in and cool. This, match, this hand will more or less decide this match. And we can play Chris is holding. You know, team, uh, Las Vegas Moneymakers has not They're been very good. Up and down. Like fives or tens are coming here. Five or a ten here. will give Olivier the straight. Oh. And oh, well. Chris going to double up here. And Olivier left with <sighs> half. Oh, no, we're left with one big blind. Stranger things have happened, Laura. Oh, would I have chips left? Yeah, oh, he's picked up a nice. Okay. In it goes. Figure out how to beat him. Six. A75 <laughs> for Olivier to continue this hand into hand 95. Um, Puppy feet. Can't hit a club now. And that's it. No, no, Money no, maker. Can. Game over. Well, what do you say to that? Well, Viva Las Vegas. Viva, Viva Las Vegas. 95 hands. Were we expecting that? Uh, I'm going to answer that was myself. Long. No, I was not. I guess 79 hands. Yeah, well, for the all entire three match. 95 hands. Combined. That match went one way and the other. I also wanted to mix it up. Even when they, like, they were like 20 big blinds deep, they wanted to see flops, turns, rivers. Uh, Chris certainly not afraid to uh, mix it up with Olivier. No, it was quite um, interesting to you know, watch, he, he got a few, He held his own. He, uh, you know, he stood up to be counted um, when the money makers needed him or needed to, uh, you know, salvage something from the season. And he, he stood up and he was counted and he's put the win on the board. Uh, Olivier going to be pretty frustrated there. He doesn't that is a man who out. doesn't like to lose poker matches. Um, and yeah, he, you saw the frustration there. Uh, that match, Olivier went right down to uh, short stack, worked his way back up twice uh, after getting down a sub 10 big blinds. Um, a real fun game to watch. Uh, very different, you know, two very different figures within the poker world. Chris, uh, you know, a, a, a sort of legend of the game, but not particularly, um, you know, experienced as a, a sort of heads up online specialist like uh, Olivier. Mm, uh, so two completely contrasting figures and great fun to watch. Um, and, you know, I, I can't wait to see the What next are we going to see for game two? Not sure game I want to see, I'm not sure if I want to see two more games of 95 Olivier hands. Can win one back? Let's find out. Bluff Five tip him. So, even though I got bluffed there, I'm bluffable. It's not always easy, but definitely bluffable. Game two, game on. It'll be interesting to see if he uh, tightens up his range a little bit. He probably won't on this level, but maybe like the 3 6 and the 4 8 when it gets a little bit medium, where I was 3 betting a lot more. Um, or if I'll just freely. I mean, theory holds when you play on the button, you can raise any two. Um, I gave him a little bit of reason not to do that last game by three betting so much, but 
Uh, I expect playing him enough and knowing who he is, that he won't step off the gas. So Chris folding eight five, five two, uh, button, pretty unusual for the uh, GPO. Just was nice enough to let us have one, so we'll go ahead and be nice enough to to play a pot with him here. Chris, so weird no, small size. Flops the nuts. Good pot for us. With a redraw to the straight flush. Back door, of course. He's going to uh, stick around with his I'm gut shot. Slow down. Um, I'm going to bet and then I'm going to check the river. <laughs> If he were to call. Nice little pot there for Chris. Always nice when you uh, flop the nuts, the uh, redraw to the coconuts, river the monkey nuts. Olivier ri ri rivering a little uh, pair of trays there. To, uh, Take this one down. It's nice to see his hand. This is game two of the final match of the evening. The final match of the week here on the GPL. This is the penultimate meek. Meek? Penultimate week. Yeah, it's been a long night. Final week next week. Lots of business to be decided in the Eurasian Conference. London, Rome, Berlin, and Hong Kong, and Paris. All with a shot of making those playoffs. Two of them will not. <sighs> I think that's the first time he's three-bit me. In both man with between both matches, pre flop maybe one other time. Back when I used to play him, uh, he did that a lot more. Uh, what that tells me a little bit is that um, he doesn't respect my game that much. He feels like he can outplay me post flop and make better decisions post flop, which. I'm not saying I disagree with him. I'm just yeah. saying it's probably how he feels. Um, Olivier's I don't turn think to. I uh, of eight nines. So we now I think the nuts. He probably expects me to bet all my eight nines. Um, and I think his lead range is kind of strong. So I actually think uh, making it making a raise here makes sense. Um, when you combine the fact that he made kind of like a turn raise of a lead with a really unorthodox hand, he might also kind of project that way of playing onto me more than is actually there. And Chris all of that for nothing because it just away from that danger. A straight 50-50 guess, depending upon what the river is. Just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do it right now. I would rather be the aggressor in that situation. Three bet coming. I three bet him a ton. I'm gonna no, wrong again. off here and not three bet him. No, he bets over pot. Um, probably to protect an eight. Nice read, Chris. No harm, no foul. That's just kind of super ball with his jacket. So, so much can change on the next card. That's essentially what volatility means. It refers to how much can change on the subsequent card. So three cards in a row. They're not even that high. So any card above can become a new top pair, straights and flushes. It's probably as volatile a board as you can get, almost. Um, so your bet size would essentially be proportional to the volatility of the board texture. You want to bet more when the board's more volatile. And you can bet less when it's like, right off the you know, the ace, ace, deuce, or something like that. For our first re-raise of the match. Ah, 
action flop. Pretty good flop for us. What's up, babe? This oh, my man. your oven. Mrs. Hey. Moneymaker. Do you have to dinner? Can you do it? Here. Here. I hope she's come to sort the kids' mess out. <laughs> Olivia going to raise <clears> it up. <throat> this pot could get chunky. Great turn card for Olivier. I mean, for Chris. <laughs> My apologies. All right. Um, Great card. Four yeah, five, which is we can play. It does get there, but folding. Four comes anything. Um. Should I call here? I think it. Uh oh. So that's great. This this card will. Um, quite possibly cause Chris to lose a big part here. I think we should just overbet here. Gross spot. Oh, what a sick spot. I mean, just like I think it's really hard for him it's just to call. so sick. I don't know. I mean, he could have a five of hearts. Like ace five of hearts. Ah, he's gonna make the call in this game. That was good. That was a good uh, five, six of hearts. Very soon. Series of events. Yeah, Very soon to be locked up at one each. And a pretty cool Unless spot. Chris no can mount the uh, mother of all comebacks. Kind of on the end. Gonna get his money in good here. Probably, obviously, should have. Uh, kind of disappointing. River, trying to induce trap, whatever oh. you want to call it. Chris. All the way to the end and end up trapping myself with the worst Chris river Canoe, card ever. Uh, double up. So we have a long uphill climb in front of us, guys. That was a pretty sick board. I could have let Five go big blinds there. for Moneymaker. Mm. Stranger things have happened. Chip and a chair. My wife will be happy. Fix the oven sooner. <laughs> Get and fix oven that chaos. Oven. Uh oh. Oh, and uh, Chris mm, set to double up again. Is that a? That's the ace peels. And uh, another pair for Chris. We need another double up after this one, and we'll have a shot to get back in it a little bit. Well, we cripple ourselves on that ace queen board. Ouch. Tough spot in that hand. Very hard to see any other way that hand could go down. I could have done it a lot of different ways. Could have done it. Should have done it. Oh, well. I would have folded that. We're not dead yet. Nice job. Eric knows I would have folded it. Don't you know, Eric? We get do say all those hands in this spot. We will be safe. Well, not yet. That's like really surprising, actually. <laughs> Another spot, Chris getting the money in good. Oh, man. Some backdoor danger for his ace 10. He gets turned. The queen hits yeah. the turn. No. Now he needs an ace, oh, or this I'm game will be tied up. Right, One each. One, One each. Money makers and the LA Sunset. Olivier Busquet fighting oh, back. Oh, it's exciting when it's equal. Yeah, we, uh, well, 95 hands, game one. Only 23 hands, game two. That's more not like sure it. They, not sure this uh, studio could have coped with a 95-hander. The, uh, the uh, no, production crew could be, uh, could be uh, falling asleep out the, out the back. But we, 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 we want to we see, as many, one, we see as many hands as we, we bloody well can. We Don't, bloody, oh, we're oh, so we British, well. aren't we? We bloody well <laughs> want to see those. Bloody hands. Anyway, uh, th I mean, there was only one hand that, that told the story of that match. Five, six uh, of hearts, Yeah, baby. five, six of hearts will be the uh, will be the lion in uh, Chris Moneymaker's uh, dreams tonight. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he turns top two pair, and Olivia hits the uh, the absolute gin card on the river. Chris may have got away from it, I guess, if the flush had come. Who knows? But, you know, you're not getting away from top two. Uh, Ace, queen, very often uh, in those spots, heads up against Olivier Busquet. So, uh, unlucky, Chris. Yeah, unlucky. I kind of want Chris to come back and yeah. take this one. Yeah, Just you, you kind of got Quickly, the... so we can fix the oven, okay? <laughs> he needs to fix the oven or the whole moneymaker family ain't got no dinner on the think, table tonight. Do you, do you think Chris would take a, uh, take a win <laughs> in the GPI... It, 
Would you think it'd take a win for a broken oven for the rest of the night? Like a hungry family, but a, G, a GPL win. Yeah, I do. Even though, even though Game they're three. not even making the finals. <laughs> right, let's see if we can accomplish a win and a fixed oven. Here we go. Ham one, Olivia Busquet, the, the dominated Jack. Oops. Sorry. Just trying to check out the stream. Um, I think we're going to start with the three bet. Just to be like, hey man. Wow. Okay. We're starting out oh, early right. with oh, the he's not big full one. already. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. Yeah, he came with it. He came with it. I don't even think that was a real hand. I'm just going <laughs> to go out on a limb and say I don't think that one was a real hand. Exciting game here. One all. Olivier Busquet, eight matches, eight heads up matches in the GPL. He's won six of them. He's lost two. Usually, always wins 2 1. This match will uh, continue that We're vein of form. Representing the heart or the straight. Oh, man. Race. No need to rip anything. Olivier. Pretty jokey. Oh. I don't think he checks back at a king twice. Definitely not an ace twice. So we'll just go ahead and steal it. Take it. Whatever. The best hand. Um, interesting. I'm going to value bet. Really, nice. really See, line is last time. Now he bets even small. No, this is just a small bet. I don't know what. Maybe he just has ace, ace deuce or something. I think I can. Nope, that was a value bet with two eights, man. <laughs> I think he calls it like it's a five there sometimes, wow. too. It's not expecting that. Yeah. Optimistic value eight. bet from Chris there. Two eights, you can't yeah. bet there. Man. You can't, can't nope. try to get value from two eights. Entirely eight. sure you should be uh, value betting that <sighs> thing against someone of uh, Olivier Busquet's uh, caliber, but I'm not a world champion. Oh, he had ace queen. Yeah, that's tough. Pretty good turn card for me. Yeah, it's not much of a delay. Oh, I guess we. I didn't need to bet this big. What just happened here? I think it kind of gives away the strength of my hand. Uh, Double gut shot here for. Chris, gonna get out of about the strength of my semi bluff. Yeah. Surging out into a little lead here after the uh, first seven hands. This is the final match of the night, final match of the week. Two more sets of heads-up matches from the Americas Conference Can't next week. I believe there's only one more week left of studio action. It's gone so quickly. How many games have we, have we got through? It's something ridiculous. 163. 65. There it is. <laughs> it's hard to hit a hand in a three-bit pot. It's hard. <sighs> bon pair for Chris Moneymaker. Olivier whiffed this one. Doesn't pick up any equity on the turn. Interesting turn card for me. Not a lot gonna be good. You win. He has a chance to have like a random ace to be good. Got him win with three. Or a random six four. Worked as well, obviously. <laughs> mm, this third game is not starting out that well. No, just 
11 hands in, Olivier has oh, uh, is it, Olivier? To, uh, lost 30% uh, of his stack. Anything easier just to switch over to 1800. I have to type in 16. I don't want to do that anymore. First world problems. I mean, I guess if he has it, he's got it. Ferocious uh, three bet strategy. Go on, Chris. I do want Olivier to win too, but I'm just... 3x, uh... feel sorry for the money makers, a bit. Yeah, it'd be nice to see them get a win on the board. Chris flopping the nuts there, something. getting a uh, precisely nil action. It's more fun. Jimmy Bluffett, known Chris for several years. First time I've ever heard wifey. Lol, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the standing, guys. Here come the standings. As you can see, the Montreal Nationals way up in front. 190 points. We saw Lavalier in action tonight. LA Sunset there with 179 points. We've already seen three points for Bousquet. Can he make another three to make it 182? Sao Paulo Mets are in third after a win by Joao Samal. 174 points for them. We've got San Francisco Rush in fourth. Jaffe had a win earlier. 100. 55 points for them. The New York Randers are in fifth with 152 points and in sixth place. And out of it, no playoffs for them. The Las Vegas Moneymakers with 125 points. Though, still three points made tonight from Chris. Flush draw for Chris. Neither of these players arriving at this river with a pair. Olivier flopped a gut shot. He has nine jack. Um, he has diamonds that are worse than mine too. Uh, he has a 10. The 10 is the only thing he has that he value better. Oh, so. and uh, Chris is going to make the call there. The soul read. King high. Olivier oh. looks fed up. A lot of love for Chris on the chat tonight. This is like playing... Different type of player. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make the adjustments, Olivier. It's all about the adjustments. GPL app is available, folks. GPL app, GPL TV, iOS, and Android devices can be used to access that application. J Rock, Chris is looking fit. Agret, Chris is clearly at his best. He must have known he'd be on camera. I'm almost done. <laughs> He's almost done. Confidence. Supreme confidence from Olivier Busquet. He's pricing me into call. Straight flush draw. Shh. Mr. Moneymaker's doing five. I'll come in check in two minutes. I'm about ready to get it all in here. I got a heart draw and a straight draw. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got the best the oh. oh, my God. See, he needs to fix that oven. The heart. Chris Moneymaker's done it. Beating Olivier Busquet. Olivier Busquet oh, looks uh, sick. Check on the wife. <laughs> Peace out. You heard it there. Chris Moneymaker said to his wife, I'm I'll almost be done. There. Ships it in. He said, I'll be there, there in, in, in five the minutes. He, he, was he was there confident. in 20 seconds. He knew he was taking down Busquet. Well, He's got to talk to us first, though. So, oh, poor Chris, yeah. don't go and fix the oven yet, Chris. The chicken's ready, but we <laughs> demand Moneymaker speaks to us. He knew he was going to win that second game. You could tell Olivier's face, he wasn't, wasn't going his way. Chris just said to his wife, I'm almost done, sweetheart, uh, in a, in a, with a southern so twang. I love it when the partners come and talk and you can oh, hear Oh, I know, well. it's great. The best part of the GPO, <laughs> if you ask me. Chris Moneymaker, supremely confident, knew he was taking down that last game. Too late for the Moneymakers to oh. make the playoffs, but... 
They're fighting for pride and they're fighting it with Chris Moneymaker leading from the front. Chris this is what has we like refused to see. an interview because he's got to go <laughs> no. and fix the bloody feed his oven. He's got to feed the oven, cook the chicken. I love chicken do down there in, the, in, the, in I hope, Tennessee. I hope you'd be having a nice chicken then. Well... Maybe we'll take a look at the standings, see Should how that affects that? the standings. It won't give the moneymakers any hope of uh, making it of the playoffs, but they move up to 128 but points. But it's made his ego it's a feel win. good. It's good for the Olivier ego Bousquet, to beat Olivier Brisquet. Hey. Uh, LA Sunset, they'll be okay. Uh, they only add three points to their already burgeoning total. Uh, they're up to uh, 179, 11 behind the Montreal Nationals. Theoretically, the LA Sunset could end up winning this conference, but it seems probable they'll end up finishing second or third. Uh, all the eyes next week will be on the San Francisco Rush and the New York Rounders. The only two teams with the... Uh, you know, places in the playoffs still to play for. Incredibly exciting. Uh, next week, we've got two sets of heads-up matches from the Americas Conference, one from the Eurasian Conference. Going to be a great week. Final week of studio action. Laura looks absolutely unable to contain herself. I'm the same. <coughs> one more week to go, Laura. <laughs> yeah, that's going to explode. <laughs> week 14. I can't 14. believe How it. We've we get got there? there already. The last week... In this studio for this first season of GPL, I'm getting quite emotional about it. Oh, me too. There'll be uh, there'll, there'll be some. Gonna uh, be, I have to. We'll be holding back the have tears to have a few next week. Yeah, I'll do, yeah. bits of <laughs> tissue paper and stuff that that's I've drawn not on. Been drawn all over, <laughs> just for our eyes, yeah. our sad little eyes. Well, it, the week's ended on a on a fun note. It has. Uh, we, of course, we're impartial, but it's nice to see. Chris Moneymaker, get a win for the Moneymaker. He's got a team named after him, and they're not even going to the city that's <laughs> named after them to play the playoffs. They needed some consolation. Chris Moneymaker, now he's going to go have some chicken with his wife and his family. Celebratory chicken. Celebratory chicken. If just, the like oven a, works. just like someone from Tennessee likes to do. Uh, that's it for tonight. It Join us indeed. next week. This is the GPL. I'm Roland in the Booth Booby. This is Laura Cornelius. Join us again soon. We'll see you next Adios. week. Have a great weekend. Have Thanks a great for weekend. Watching. Have a Bye. lot of fun. Thank <laughs> you.